Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome back for the Courageously Intentional Living Show. Let me know when you hop on and say hi to me. Let me know if you can see me and hear me okay. I always like to check before I talk on for a while. Um, okay, I am live in the right group. That's good. Uh, it would be really funny if I went live in the wrong place, right? I have done that before. So I'm going to wait a moment until I see some people hopping on. Nicola, you're here. Good morning. Okay, you can he hear me and see me. Okay, good. Good, good. So, um, yeah, say hi to me when you hop on. Um, hopefully you can't hear any noise in the background. There's actually a giant dump truck dumping uh, gravel on our driveway. Our driveway is getting done. It's been a whole um, several day process. So um, there's lots of people here helping and it's loud out there. So I hope you can't hear it. Um, I hope you can only hear it quiet in the background. I had to close my window. So um, today's topic is refresh your mornings with a capsule wardrobe. Um, this has been a big game changer for me. Um, especially when I had to leave the house to go to work, which I don't anymore, but still, um, it is still a big game changer for my day. So, um, really excited to, oh good, you can't hear the dump truck. That's good because it's loud out there. Um, so I really wanted to share this with you and share some tips uh, and talk about this a little bit today. Before I do that, I want to remind you that the Take Back Your Time Challenge is coming up. It starts one week from today. So if you have not registered yet, um, I will drop the link in the group again. Please come join me. Even if you've done it before, each time is a little bit different. Uh, the steps and the content is basically the same. However, there is always something new to be learned each time. And we need repetition, right? So the more we go through the steps, uh, the more they become habit, the easier they become, the more that we absorb and learn from that. And there are different... Um, challenges that come up each time in the challenge that uh, people are struggling with that we address. And so um, I like to tailor it a little bit to what's going on uh, currently for people in the challenge. So I invite you to come join me, even if you've done it before. Um, it's an entirely free challenge. And someone else hopped on. Good morning. I can't see your name. It only says Facebook user. So if you have not granted um StreamYard permission yet to see your name in Facebook, uh, there's a link above in the description. And once you grant them permission to see your name, I can see your name every time you hop on. So hello to whoever you are. Thank you for joining. Um, so the challenge is running from the 24th to the 28th. So that's next Monday to uh, Friday. So the way it's going to work this time, and it's a little bit different if you've joined me for the challenge before, um, I'm actually going to release a pre-recorded training every morning at 6 a.m. And then I'm going to go live at 4 p.m. This is Eastern Standard Time for an implementation session and Q&A. So I'm doing it this way because before I was doing a live and then a watch party. And I wanted to uh, take the training part of it and make it a little bit more focused and release it first thing in the morning so more people get a chance to see it because there's a lot of people in different time zones. So I want to make sure that everyone has had a chance to see the training and then I'll go live later that day. And I picked a time that hopefully will work with a lot of different time zones. I know for some people it's a little bit later in the evening and for other people it's early in the morning. So I'm hoping that it will be a better time for everyone to, to hop on and we can get more people on the live that way. Um, the other reason that I'm doing it this way is because uh, I tend to, I love doing the live and I love interacting with you all and answering your questions and reading the comments. Sometimes that makes the trainings a little bit longer and some people have um, other things to do. I want to respect your time. So if I can give you that uh, little pre-recorded training in the morning and you have some time to work on it during the day and then we can go on live together and talk about it a bit more and implement uh, together. So. Uh, we're going to test this out and see how it goes in this challenge. So that's just something to note. The timings are a little bit different this time. Um, with the exception of Thursday, I'm going to go live for the entire thing on Thursday, but it will still be at 4 p.m. So I'm going to be talking a bit more about that this week, and I will um, upload a schedule and things to help keep it all 
uh, in one place for you so you know what's going on and you're aware of the schedule. The workbook is going to be sent via Messenger again if you've joined the challenge before. So when you register, then you uh, sign up with me in Facebook Messenger and that's where I send all the resources, the workbook, um, and it, it seems to work better than email. So um, we're doing it that way again this time. With that being said, let me know, are you ready to talk about capsule wardrobes? Let me just pull up my notes so I can keep myself on track here. Let me know if you're ready. Give me some thumbs up, some hearts down there. We have some new people coming into the group. Uh, some of you um, are coming in because some friends have let you know, and some of you have come in for the challenge specifically. So welcome, welcome to the group. Um, this is the Courageously Intentional Living Show. I do this show every Monday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, the show will not be happening during the challenge because I'll be doing the challenge, um, but it will resume as soon as the challenge is over. So I do this every single week. I have not missed a week yet since we have started doing this. Um, so I am so happy to have you here. Uh, feel free to also post in the group. Um, share your experiences, share your wins, ask questions. Uh, this is a very supportive group and this is a safe place to share and I make sure to keep it that way. So um, it's a very, uh, very supportive community here. So, all right, we're ready, ready, ready. Hi, Kalai, thanks for joining. So refresh your mornings with a capsule wardrobe. This was a huge game changer for me. Let me know if you can relate with uh, trying to get dressed in the morning and whether you keep your clothes in a dresser or a closet. I'm just going to use closet as the example. So if you stand in front of your closet and you have so much clothing in there, but you feel like you have nothing to wear and you stand there trying to decide what to wear, maybe you pull some things out and you make a pile, you try some things on, nothing feels quite right. And um, at the end of it, you're frustrated and you're still not really feeling great about what you put on, but you need to go for the day, right? You have things going on. Let me know if this has happened to you because this happened to me for a while, just about every single day. And then at some point I heard this idea of a capsule wardrobe and it was sort of in the beginning of my decluttering journey. And so I was already starting to declutter, but I hadn't yet caught on to that idea of a capsule wardrobe. And then I heard about it and started to implement it and it was so helpful. Um, I even did it with, I had like a separate work wardrobe because um, I used to work as a registered nurse. And so I really just needed scrubs, but I, uh, I had like a little work capsule of scrubs and then I had like my, you know, regular daily living capsule. So first let's talk about what a capsule wardrobe is. A capsule wardrobe is a collection of essential items that you feel great in, you love, and that all coordinate together so you can get dressed effortlessly. And then you can add um, accent pieces or you can switch things out seasonally. How you do this um, is totally up to you. I have an all season capsule wardrobe and there might be like a few pieces that I pack away. Um, and really they just kind of go to the back of my closet. Um, but you can do an all seasons capsule wardrobe. You can do one for each season. You can do one for warmer weather and colder weather if you live in a place that has uh, four seasons. So this is something that uh, is going to help you reduce the amount of clothing that you have. Because all the pieces coordinate together, you can mix and match and you can make a lot of different outfits out of the same few pieces. So that's kind of the general idea. And you choose pieces that... Um, um, you have like a certain amount of kind of classic and timeless pieces in it so that um, it can pair well with other things, but it gives you a base to work with, right? So why do we want to do this? There's a few reasons why. It saves you a ton of time um, trying to decide what to wear, um, getting dressed in the morning, and in, in other ways, it saves you time as well. It saves you a lot of money. Um, let me know if you've ever like gone out shopping, bought a bunch of things and brought them home. And then there were a bunch of those things that you maybe never even wore. Maybe the tags are still on them. Um, you got it on at home and you decided that you didn't really feel that great in it. Maybe you didn't really like it as much as you thought you did. 
And a lot of people end up with all these clothes in their closet that have the tag still on or that maybe got worn once or twice. And then they're still there. So with a capsule wardrobe, because you are going to define in this capsule wardrobe what it is that you want to be wearing and you're going to choose um, and we'll get into this a little bit. You're going to choose like a color palette and things like that. Um, it's more focused when you go shopping to buy things and you end up saving a lot of money in the long run. Um, it saves your sanity. No more decision fatigue. No more standing in front of your closet for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, trying to decide what to wear, trying different things on. Um, less dirty laundry. So um, if you've been here with me a while, you've heard me talk about um, if you want to do less, then have less, right? So if you have less laundry to begin with, then you can't have as much dirty laundry at one time. So that might mean that you do loads of laundry a little more often. Maybe it doesn't mean that. Um, I do laundry once a week. But like the dishes with my kitchen hack, if you've ever heard me talk about this, um, you can only have so much dirty clothing as you own, right? So if you have less clothing in your closet, um, then you're not going to have big mountains of laundry, right? Nicola says, I generally avoid clothing shopping. The last time I bought a new shirt, the shopping trip was actually for my daughter originally. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big shopper. I actually don't really like shopping very much. And that's why a capsule wardrobe works so well for me because I don't have to shop as often. Um, and, and I would prefer to not shop if I could just have somebody send me all the clothes that I wanted to my house. Uh, that would be that would be great. Um, so this this also saves you time in the sense uh, back to laundry that you're you're not going to end up in that uh, cycle where you have these big mountains of laundry. Right. Because you can only have so much dirty laundry. And I highly suggest uh, getting your family members on board with this as well and creating a capsule wardrobe for them too. So um, this is a great time to do this right now because we are going to be changing seasons very soon. So it's, it's a really good time to go through and assess what you have and create this capsule wardrobe now before we enter into this next season. Um, and and kind of get that uh, taken care of and save you that time, save you that money, um, save you that sanity, no more decision fatigue. Um, it's it's easy for me to get dressed in the morning. I get up, I grab a couple things off of my hangers and it doesn't really matter what I grab. Um, I did it just before this video. I you know grabbed a couple things to throw on and I didn't really have to think about it much because I like everything that's there. It all goes together. And I don't have to sort through it and, and pick things out and take a lot of time doing it. Good morning, Mary. Thank you for joining. So how do we do this? Hi, Lola. Thanks for joining. Let's talk about how we do this. We're going to start, of course, with decluttering your closet or your dresser, wherever you keep your clothes. Um, I'm always going to tell you to declutter before you organize. Declutter first, always. It's it's going to make the process much easier. You don't want to handle things that you don't need to be handling. You don't want to handle things more than once. If you can handle it once, you're going to save a lot of time. So what I want you to do is pull all your clothing out and go through that and start to declutter it. You can immediately take out things that don't fit anymore, things that you don't love or feel good in, um, things that just don't, don't feel right when you put it on. Um, all of us have some things like that. So you can start with pulling those things out and um, you can make different piles. So if you're going to donate them, you can choose to sell them if you want. Um, occasionally, I will sell some things to a consignment shop or a secondhand shop or something like that. Most of the time, though, I just choose to donate. I have a thrift store that I really like taking stuff to because they support the local food bank and I feel really good about that. And they also only charge... Um, 25 cents an item for people. So it's a place where people can go um, that might need those things. And so I donate most of my stuff. Um, how you do this is up to you though. If you have clothing that is brand new still and has tags on it, you can make some money back in this process. Uh, and then you can use it to create your capsule wardrobe and really buy the pieces that you like. So you can um, potentially create your capsule for free, right? So um, often a lot of people have enough in their wardrobe already to create a pretty substantial capsule wardrobe. 
I know that I did when I first started, I had a lot of clothing. Um, so it's, uh, usually you end up with a lot of items left um, to start with, and then you just fill in the gaps. The next thing you can do is if you have some clothes that you're not really sure uh, if you want to keep them or if you um, if you really like them or not, hang them up backwards when you put them back in your closet. Um, if you're doing them, if you, or if you have a dresser uh, or something like that and you don't hang your clothes up, you can maybe just choose a drawer or a bin to put some of those things in. And then after a certain amount of time, you, um, you assess that again. And when you wear something, you hang it up the right way. So hang it up backwards first. After you wear it, put it back the right way so you know that you've worn it. Set yourself a certain amount of time. If you haven't worn it, then it's time to decide what to do with that item, whether you donate it or sell it. Um, it's probably not something that you're going to end up using. Of course, the exception is seasonal items, but those things can be packed away. Um, and then you can do that process during that particular season to find out what it is you want to keep and get rid of. So after you've done all that, you want to take a look at what colors and things you're drawn to and choose a color palette for yourself. What colors do you like? Um, what patterns do you like? Um, do you like, you know, graphic things? You want to choose for your capsule mostly neutral pieces. So mostly things that you can add other things to. And then you're going to choose some accent pieces and stuff like that. Um, so then you want to make a list of what you need to fill in and create it. So this is a really simple process. Um, Maybe not always easy. It takes a minute to get the hang of it, but after you've done it a couple of times, um, it becomes much easier. Good evening from Australia. Hello. I can't see your name. It just says Facebook user. Um, I bought some new tips on sale with gift cards, and I think that was a push for me to purge. Yes, yes. And so... Um, what you can do after you create your capsule wardrobe is I just have a certain amount of hangers. The, the number of items that you choose is going to be totally up to you. Um, you know, depending on your needs, uh, you can create a separate work capsule if you need to. Uh, for me, I keep enough clothing to wear for about a week and I don't really have an exact number. I don't have an exact science to it other than I have like about 40 hangers hanging up in my closet. And once they're full, I know I need to get rid of a few things. And so I pick out the things that I haven't really worn or um, maybe I'm kind of tired of that thing. So I, I donate that and, um, and then I kind of keep it in check that way. Hello, Christine from Scotland. Kali says, my problem is thinking I'll save it until I lose weight and can fit in it again. So what I suggest doing with that, Kali, is if you, um, if you have some things that you really love, and you want to save them until you can fit into them again, I would choose a certain number of those pieces to save. And you can maybe designate a bin or something for that, but keep it to that bin so you can kind of keep it in check that way. And set yourself kind of a, a certain amount of time for that, um, sort of a deadline if you have some goals to be able to fit into them again. And that way you don't end up storing a lot of those things. So pick out like your favorite pieces and hang on to those. And that um, potentially will give you some motivation to reach your goal as well. Sarah says, I tried the capsule wardrobe several years ago and I got bored with my clothes really quickly. I felt like I was just in jeans and a t-shirt rut. How to avoid this? So Sarah, you can also make multiple capsules and switch them out. So um, maybe you have, and I've done this with my kids' clothes because sometimes they tend to have an excess. A lot of people give them clothes, uh, buy them clothes, hand-me-downs, things like that. So um, we rotate stuff out. So if you find yourself getting bored, um, keep a few extras on hand, but don't keep them right in your closet or your dresser. And then you can kind of rotate those things out. And so, um, you know, this can either be seasonally or this can just be... Um, you know, some, some extra pieces. Cause there's times when, um, and I do refresh my capsule every so often when I start to get bored with it, I just switch some pieces out. So I will pick out some pieces that I'm kind of tired of, and then I will replace them with something different, um, and, and go shopping. And I don't do that very often. It maybe happens, um, 
two or three times a year, I'd say three times at the very most. I don't shop very often because, again, I don't really like shopping. Um, so it's for me, um, I want stuff that I feel good in and that um, I feel like I look good in. Uh, at the same time, for me, it's so much more about like functionality. So I like to be comfortable. Um, so I, I actually mostly have leggings for, for pants because um, that's that's what I'm comfortable in. Um, but for me, like, I have a few pieces that I don't wear as often, um, but they're kind of towards the, the back of my closet. And I bring those to the front and wear those for a little while. And then I kind of pack them in the back again. So you can rotate things about out a little bit. Um, it might be as simple as having that extra bin of some things you can switch out or just being okay with replacing a few pieces when you start to get bored is how you can handle that. So that is basically um, the very simple summary of a capsule wardrobe. Uh, it's it's really been a huge thing for me to to make that shift in my closet because that's not something that I want to spend my time and energy on every day. Um, there are so many other things that I can be doing with my time. And so it takes one more thing off my plate that I don't have to think about very often. And speaking of switching things out, I just recently did this. Maybe um, it might have been a month ago. Um, I took a bunch of stuff out of my closet and I donated a bunch and then I just went and replaced it. I took a day and I went, um, up to the city and I buy most of my stuff secondhand because I feel really good about that. Um, the, the fashion industry is one of the largest polluters, uh, currently in, in the world. So I try to buy as much secondhand as possible. There's some really nice, uh, consignment shops of stuff that is sometimes even still brand new with the tags on it um, up in the city close to where I live. So I, uh, I like to go there and, and do my shopping there and I can usually find what it is that I need. And then if I can't find what I need there, then I might go buy something new, um, or order something if I find something online that, uh, suits my, suits my needs. So, um, you know, every so often I switch it out. Uh, I, I pretty much do an all season capsule. So, uh, where I live, it's still like, even in the summertime, it gets chilly at night. I still need like a sweater at nighttime. And so I don't really often pack away many things, um, just because our, our weather varies so much, but I have so many clothes. This is so scary to think about. So just start with a piece. Um, if it, if it feels really scary to pull everything out, just choose like a section and start with a section of your closet or a drawer in your dresser and do it a little piece at a time. Um, for me, I like to pull everything out and just go at it. But if it seems overwhelming, um, again, if you if you um, listen to my fail proof declutter method at all, or or learned that with me in the challenge or any of my courses and programs, um, fifteen minute chunks, fifteen minute chunks make things super doable. Um, we can do just about anything for fifteen minutes, right? So. Pull out a chunk of stuff and give yourself 15 minutes to just go through that. And don't think too much about it. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink it. Um, I know you can do this. Take it a little chunk at a time, and then it won't seem like such a big, overwhelming task. Um, and just remember to, you know, somehow separate what you've already gone through from, from what you still need to go through. Nicola says, be brave, Ashley. Fear is a funny thing. This will change. Yes. So that's a good point. The more that you do this. Um, I think starting, starting is really the hardest part. So we, we have all this stuff going on in our minds. Um, we often imagine things to be, uh, worse than they're going to be. And the thinking about a thing is often much worse than the actual doing of a thing, um, which causes us to procrastinate. And I'm very, very familiar with this. Um, I am both a recovering procrastinator and perfectionist. And so I have to remind myself of, all these little tips that I tell myself and I share with you all in this group sometimes. So um, we often make stuff um, a lot scarier than it really is. So I encourage you to just pick an amount of time and grab a chunk of stuff and dive right in and start doing it. And you'll see once you start doing it and once you start practicing it, it becomes easier and easier over time. So let me know if you all have any questions. I'm going to hang out here for a minute because I think there's a bit of a lag in the comments. 
And I want to make sure that I answer. Kalai says, how often should you declutter, revise your wardrobe? So I kind of have two answers to this question. Um, you can, it depends on what kind of capsule wardrobe that you have created. So if you decide to do one for each season, then you are going to want to look at those capsule wardrobes as the season comes up. And maybe you keep it the same from this year to next year. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to switch some things out. If you do more of an all season wardrobe like I do, um, I tend to just do it as I need to. So I, um, I do it as I either start to get bored with clothing or as clothing gets worn out and I can't mend it. Um, I, I switch some pieces out and I might not do the entire wardrobe. I might just do some pieces of it. Um, it just really depends how I'm feeling about it. If I'm feeling like I want a total change, then I'll kind of revamp the whole thing. Um, I also sort of keep a handle, like I was saying, I have about 40 hangers. So um, occasionally somebody gives me something or I'm out and I see something I like. And so I kind of keep a handle on it that way and I'll rotate something out if I don't have space for it. And I let, um, I do this with a lot of my things with decluttering uh, and, and keeping things decluttered. So much of it is about maintenance. So I have designated homes for everything and I keep things in that place. And when that place is um, getting full, whether it's a basket or my closet or whatever it is, a drawer, then I reassess and I take some things out of there. So um, this answer is going to be kind of dependent on how you decide to create your wardrobe, whether you are doing an all season or you're doing one for each season. And then um, you can rotate those out uh, that way or, or switch things out that way uh, if you want to do it each season or if you just want to do it like I do um, as you feel like you need a refresh or stuff is getting worn out. Um, I do a lot like outside and just in life in general, I tend to actually wear holes and things. So, and so do my kids. So sometimes that is just, that timing is just designated by our clothes wearing out because we're outside, we're active and, and that kind of thing. So, um, oh, you're welcome, Nicola. I'm glad you enjoyed the training. Oops, I hit some buttons. I don't know what I did. So again, um, feel free to ask me any questions about this throughout the week, post in the group. Um, if you do this, I wanna hear uh, about your capsule wardrobe. Share it with me. Um, let me know how it goes. Um, I, love, I love hearing about how everyone's doing with this stuff. So feel free to ask me any questions below in the comments, ask me questions in the group. Don't forget to register for the Take Back Your Time Challenge. Uh, it's going to be another awesome challenge. I'm going to have some cool bonuses and prizes and things coming your way. Um, there are prizes for people who show up to the lives. There is a scholarship for one person that um, shows up and does all the trainings and does all the homework. So I will be announcing that scholarship next Thursday um, in the challenge. So come join me and uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions at all between now and then and during the challenge. Um, you can get me here in this group. You can get me via messenger. You can post in the group. Um, if you post in the group, tag me so I see it. Um, I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. So thank you all for joining me. Happy Monday. I hope you have a great week and I will be seeing you in the group. Remember to be courageously intentional. Talk to you all soon.